Hi there. You're watching Cooking Foo with Foo. Foo. Did I really say it like that? Holy shit. Okay, you're watching Cooking Food with Foo. Foo? Cocina comida con Foo. Foo. Alright. Today I'm going to be cooking something more on the traditional side, although I kind of excluded one of the traditional ingredients to this recipe. I'm going to be cooking a scampi. And you're going, oh! Who's going to cook shrimp scampi? Oh my god! No. Yep, now my phone's going off. Fuck you, phone. I don't care. Now, I am going to be cooking salmon scampi. Because I like salmon. I really, it's a damn good fish, I think so. And, um, I'm going to be using farm raised salmon. I know people are like, you farm raised? Why? But they, they add stuff like steroids and shit. Well, I don't really mind the steroids. It's just that, you know, salmon from the sea, salmon being a bottom feeder, in the sea there's really, like, Broke, seriously broken down plastic in the bottom of the sea. It's like, you know, broken down to the point where the animals can consume it. But I would assume that in a farm, a sea farm, they're, they're a little less, you know, with the plastic at the bottom of their tanks or whatever it is that they grow the animals in. So, let's take a look at what I am going to be cooking holy shit god damn fool you gotta clean up you gotta clean up look at this shit well the sink ain't so bad but damn you and your fucking pizza box collection holy shit and these these shopping bags all over the place hold on let me straighten this shit out please There we go. That looks a hell of a lot better. Don't you think? Well, I didn't get all the boxes out of there, but I got most of them. I got rid of all the bags except for that bag, which I have a bunch of bags in. But, oh, don't ask about the chairs, guy. You know I use the chairs proportionally. No, fuck it. I have four imaginary friends that are going to be viewing, which is better than no friends watching whatsoever. Four imaginary friends. Uh, two of which right here are their couple gorgeous Criolas. They always wear yoga pants and I got a couple gorgeous Chapinas over here. Neither of which have braces because I've learned a lesson about Chapinas with braces. Eos is ratas. No gusto. Okay, let's see what I'm cooking with. There's the animal. I got four fillets sitting there. Ooh, that's a yummy fish. I'm going to be using Wacky Mac for the pasta, because it's nice and colorful. You can see right there that I have scallions. I'm going to be using scallions. I'm going to be using Parmesan cheese. I'm going to be cooking with extra virgin olive oil. What the hell is an extra virgin? I mean, what is an extra virgin? You never had sex or... And plan to never have sex. That's an extra virgin. Never had sex and never will have sex. Extra, extra virgin. There we go. We got granulated garlic. We got black pepper. We got sea salt. And we got butter. Yes, butter. I'm going to need butter to cook the salmon. Now, let's see how the boiling of water is coming along. It's making its way there. All right. While I um wait for the water to boil, I'm going to prepare the scallions. I'm going to chop them up into little bits and yada yada yada. All right. Here we go. All right. There it is. I haven't touched these yet. There's the chopped up scallions. Hopefully that'll be enough for like 15, 18 lunches. It all depends on how I'm going to divide this up because these I'm going to be cutting into pieces after they're cooked. So, um, yeah. 
I might need three, I might not, I might have extra pasta to be eating off to the side. Still the same ingredients over there. That's my drinking cup for uh, my jug over there, which is this shit right here. There's no uh, alcohol added to that. Although sometimes I swear I need it. So that's this. Here's the water, not boiling it. Possibly because I added some because I had a feeling that there wasn't enough water in there. And here's the pan. I'll be adding butter and extra virgin olive oil to that. So, uh, yeah. Now I just gotta wait for the water to boil. What do you girls think about that? Yeah, I know, it's a pain. Gracias Dios, yo tengo mucho pasianza, huh? Si, si. How about you, Criolas? Yeah? I know. I know. He was thinking, oh, why are we chilling with this white dude? I'm not white, I'm Cape Verdean, caray! Ay, Jesus Christ. Alright, waiting for the water. Here's all this stuff. I'll be back when the water starts boiling to add the pasta. God damn! The water's not boiling yet. It's not even moving. You know why? Because my dumbass had this burner turned on instead of this burner turned on. Ah, fuck my life. Okay, now, as you may or may not be able to see, the water is boiling. It's not particularly a rolling boil, but you know what? It's boiling enough, because this is a huge stock pot, and I don't want to wait forever. So now I'm going to need to add some extra virgin olive oil. Just a little bit. Get that in there. And then I'm going to add some sea salt. This helps to uh, break down the sticking of the pasta. Now I gotta open some bags of pasta, which uh, should be easy enough. Yeah, adjust this real quick. Put it back over here. Now. So, open up my bags of pasta and add them to the pot. These are called veggie spirals. And rich tomato, beet, and spinach macaroni product. Wow, there actually is vegetables inside this pasta? Who would have thunk it? And here I was thinking it was called Wacky Mac because the guys who make it MUCHO PUNYETA fucking jerk off all day. Who knows? Anyway. Get all these bags of pasta in here. Get them going. There. Grab myself a, uh, a pasta spoon of some shape or form. Come on. Well, I have too much, too many things in this drawer. That's probably why. And this is probably a spatula made for. Um, you know, deep frying stuff, but I'm going to use it as a pasta spoon. Yes. Stir that around. Get some oil onto it. Get some. I'll put just a little bit more virgin olive oil in here. Just a wee bit. And 
and there we go. Okay, pasta is in order. Now the pasta is in order. I'm going to need to pop open this son bitch and throw some salmon inside. But first, this also is going to need extra virgin olive oil. Can you pronounce oil, Karai? Really? It's going to need some extra virgin olive oil and some butter. Good share of butter, too. So, I'm going to set this down right here. Turn this around. Sure. There we go. Now, hi, you know me, I'm the food. Now, pull out the salmon. And we're going to add the extra virgin olive oil. Oh, wait, I forgot the butter. I don't know if I should do butter first or virgin olive oil first. All I know is I'm not going to do too high of a heat. So I'm going to put this much butter in there. Can you see that? Come on, get that. There you go. I'm going to do a medium low heat, so kind of like that. Should do. If you didn't see how I set it. It's a uh, medium low heat as I define it. Now, come back with this here. Melt the butter. You know what? I think I can go just a little higher to melt the butter. Or else it's going to take a goddamn minute. Want to get a lot of butter in there because that's butter is uh, a crucial element to the. Uh, flavoring of a scampi dish. Yes. While that butter melts down, I'll give this a few stirs. My stomach is a little uh, displeased with me because when I was cutting when I was cutting the uh, scallions, I f ate a few little pieces of scallion because it's yummy and because I'm a crazy motherfucker like that. But the you know spiciness and my stomach, it's like, what the fuck did you do, foo? Why? Why? Is this butter fucking melted yet? Come on. It's almost there. It's almost ready. I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to fit all this fish in this pan. I truly hope I can, because it will make my life easier. This is a humongous pan. Those four fillets should fit just fine. Here we go. Butter is melted. Let's turn down the heat, shall we? Turn it down nice and low because I had it up too high. I'm going to add the extra virgin olive oil. Just a wee bit will do. Spread that around. Boom! 
All right, let's add some fillets of fish. We're going to keep the heat nice and low because I'm going to be doing the whole putting the cover on, giving it kind of a little oven effect of sorts. That splashed quite a bit. Two. Come on, let me get four of these bitches in there. Why is this one fillet falling the fuck apart? I'm not a fan. That's okay, I will be cutting these into pieces once they're cooked. Come on, why did you stick to the plate? Well, at least I didn't get pieces of plate becoming one with the salmon. All right, I got all four pieces. I'm gonna throw out those little pieces there. They separated from the, I'm gonna throw that plate in the trash. I don't need that plate anymore. Now, I have it on low heat. Now I'm gonna season it. First thing I'm gonna rinse my hands. And they're rinsed. Use a little hand towel. Hand towel hanging from the refrigerated handle. Here we go. Dry enough anyway. Now for seasoning. I'm gonna be generous with the garlic, as always. Nice and generous with the garlic. You can never have too much garlic. That is coming from the mouth of a chef who gave me tips on making scampi yesterday. Nice gentleman who also worked on one of the boats for the company that I work at. Keyword at because I work for an agency. Now, black pepper. Parmesan I'm not going to add directly to the fish. I'm going to add it more to the pasta. Don't need to go crazy with black pepper, but... I always end up doing it anyway. So now, pasta a little more stirring action. And now, I'm gonna cover it. Where's my cover? Did you see where I put my cover? Holy shit. Where the fuck did I put that cover? Damn. I need that cover. It's a crucial element to cooking this damn fish. Fuck. It's probably right in my... Oh, yeah, it was right in my face. Right there, sitting right on the counter. Duh. Okay, I'm going to put this on top of the skillet. I'm going to let that... Turn it up just a little bit, just a smidgen. I'm going to let that salmon sit there, do its thing. Stir up the pasta a little bit. All right, now, what I need is containers. And as you can see here, I have my nice, lovely pile of containers. Let's see. Uh, that's too small. I want. We'll take my. Here, would you hold this for me? Tiene para mí, gracias, chica. Ah. Uh, More containers. All right, I'm going to take a moment to grab these containers on my own. Pardon me, please. I tested out the pasta. The pasta is ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop it out. Get a layer 
on the bottom of each container. There we go. Did I lose it? Yes, I did. Damn you, noodle. Oh, hot noodle. Whew. Man, I'm losing noodles all over the place. And they're hot. But I still feel oh! possessed to eat them. I'm doing it like this because the colander that I have can just barely hold two bags of pasta. Let's see how the fish looks, shall we? As far as pasta portioning is concerned, I have all of these and I'm sure you're not going to want to watch all of that. So, how's the fish look? Oh yeah, that fish is done, foo. Yes, it is. All right, I'm going to put this cover here for a moment. Turn off the heat on this. Let it settle a little bit. I will be taking these four fillets. And I'll be cutting them into little chunks. I will, I'll be stripping the, uh, the scales on the other side. Maybe snack on those, I don't know, but... I'm just going to be doing chunks of salmon meat added to these for the skin. Oh, look, there's no pasta in those. Okay, I got to get pasta in all these. Give me a moment, please, because I know you don't want to watch that shit. Okay, now with all these little plates that are just started, what they need is little Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to switch hands. Give them just a little. There, how to fix my wagon. Now what I need to do is get the fish out of there, get whatever pasta is left out out of there and into the colander, and then I'm going to cut the fish into uh, little pieces. Not really that small, but not really that big. I'll figure it out as I go. And I'm probably going to strip the uh, scales which you can't see right now because I have the meat facing up. So, um, I'll take care of the pasta first, show you the colander, and then uh, I'll be right back. Hold on. Alright, as you can see here, I added Parmesan and scallions to all these lovely little dishes. Scallions, parmesan, yada yada. Now I'm going to be cutting the fillets one at a time. Make myself a good sized pile on here and then I'll try to divvy out the meat the best I can, even out throughout all these little plates here. Alright, and then I will add the remaining pasta and a little bit more parmesan and a little bit more um, scallions. Well, let's go! 
here is the first two fillets that I cut. You won't notice any scales in there because I ate them all. <laughs> I figure I gotta get eat something out of this before I eat the meal. There's some leftover scallions there. There's a leftover pasta that will top the plates that I make. Now, here's the start of the... No, actually that's the third filet and the start of the fourth filet. I'm gonna let you enjoy watching me finish cut this. Those scales are so fucking tasty. Now I gotta rummage through this fillet to find the scales so I can, uh, mm, that's so good. Mm, these scales are so fucking good. I'm such a good cook. I admit it. I'm ghetto as fuck. God damn, I'm such a good cook. Is that it for the scales? I guess so. All these little stray salmon pieces. Mmm. Alright. Rinse my hands. Whew, that water sock. Alright, now, I'm going to take what's remaining on the cutting board and slowly add it to this plate. Oh, look, the scale. Ooh, I see you, you little bitch. Mm. Oh, look, another one. I see a couple more scales on here. No. You're not going in the plate. You're getting eaten, like, as soon as I get all the meat in there. Ooh, there's meat. Mmm, that scales. Mmm, that scales. Mmm. Put this in the sink, this cutting board, and I'm done with it. Okay, now take the meat, portion it out, one little handful each. You can't see that. One little handful each. You, know, you can't really see that, can you? And I'm going to do that with all the other plates by hand and I know you don't want to watch that so I'm gonna pause this and come back later oh you're still recording you little bitch pause mmm these all look so yummy look at that mucho delicioso oh yeah but I think I need a little bit more scallions and all of these. I'll be back. I'll do that. Actually, I forgot about this amount of pasta. So, I'm going to finish off all of these with the remaining pasta found here. Then I'll add the remaining scallions. Scallions. Come on, food. Can you talk, please? Hold on. Just a moment, please. Oh, these just look so fucking good. Alright. 
These are all the finished product. You notice how they all have a slice of butter in them. That slice of butter is so that when I microwave these, they won't lose creaminess. They'll still have a nice creaminess to these plates. This is the one, after I cap all of these, that I'm going to eat in front of you so that you way you know that the food cooks damn good food. That's right, so gonna get some covers on these. Gonna do the bigger ones first so that way when I go into the freezer I eat the bigger ones last. And save the best for last guy. Another action packed cooking food with foo episode. Get all these shits sealed up, throw them in the freezer. These ones look bigger, but they're not really because uh, they didn't really get much pasta. So these five over here are the bigger ones. These will go in next. Here. How does this lid go on? I think it goes this way. No, nope, it goes the other way. Get in there, butter. I'm gonna have to rinse that one in there. Rinse that a little bit. There we go, that's all set. So this one goes in. Master, get out of there. One mil, little, little container over here. Put that right there. Check that out. I got 17 lunches sitting right there in the order for which I want to eat them. Ooh, fire in the hole. I farted. Now, I'm going to eat this plate. 
and you're gonna get to watch me eat this and enjoy it. But give me a moment so I can get set up. Alright, now I'm gonna eat my one of these down. This looks so good. Look at this. Look at that. Mucho delicioso. I'm gonna stick that camera right there. Start working on this. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna turn the camera this way. Here we go. Now. Mmm. Mmm. Damn, I'm good. Ah. I over nuked it a little bit, but it's still delicious. It's just hot as fuck. And ah. I know, I know the ones that I put in the freezer and I microwave for microwave for lunches, yada yada. yada. Those are going to be even tastier because of the extra butter that I added to them, which is going to give the pasta a better flavor. to think after I'm done eating this I'm gonna have to do a little cleaning in the kitchen clean the counter at least then I gotta go to the liquor store and get myself some natty daddies to help put me to sleep yada 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 Mm. But this is so good. I wish I could do this live, but unfortunately I can't. I tried doing it live once with my cell phone, but 
That one, it didn't, it didn't come out too much pretty good. <coughs> Damn, it's hot in here. So hot in. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. 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 Yo como mucho. Que sea exceso. Pero joder. Mm. Oh, that was so good. Now, what we gotta do is clean a little bit in the kitchen, get these clips onto my laptop. I'm gonna put them together and make my show. This is Cooking Food with Foo, episode double one. That's right, double one. Thanks for watching, and if you decide to make this, I hope you enjoy it just as much as I did. Have yourself a great day now.